But um, a dispatcher at your office has told me that you guys couldn't really take note that the neighbor was making complaints excessively and that uh, officers or deputies had already been dispatched to this location before and they left and they said that whatever we were doing we had to settle it uh, without requiring police assistance. Mm-hmm. And uh, earlier today um, he, he called after the fact that I called and a dispatcher sent a deputy out to the location. So, um, I don't know. Is there is there any reason that you've said in the past that this is a civil matter that needs to be settled with the courts and uh, dispatchers are still sending deputies for him? Uh, what's the address? It's 12530. Uh, Royal Road. Well, I'm pretty sure he could. And this is in Lakeside? Uh, it's off of Winter Gardens, so technically he's still a go home. Yeah, he says that I got in, that I jumped in front of his moving vehicle. Um, he actually moved while I was standing, so I guess threatening me with his vehicle, um, if that's technically what it is. I guess I was in front of his vehicle, but the intention was not to get hit by his car. Okay. And you said deputy actually killed her? Yeah, it was, uh, Deputy Knudsen. And he took my information down, but told me that he was not able or not willing to give me the neighbor's information, um, which I would require to be able to file a claim uh, in a civil court. I'm not sure if that's technically true. That I'm not sure. Can you just ask him information? No, he's, he's very hostile. <laughs> At first, he... he uh, he was sort of friendly when I spoke with him, but then when I tried to speak with him again, he uh, he threatened to run me over with his car and then drove away. Came back a few hours later with uh, when the deputy was able to uh, was able to come to help him, I guess, bolster his claims. The deputy um, in that time uh, actually left and said he wasn't able to do anything. Told us to settle it, uh, you know, amicably. Which hasn't been the case. Right. Well, deputies, uh, what we have in our call is basically the same thing. Deputies went out there because of the fact that he said he jumped in front of the car. Mm-hmm. That's why we dispatched. But mm-hmm. in the comments, he said he did talk to uh, the subject for the RP in this case who called in and said that this is a matter. So he, the deputy is telling him the same information. Okay. Thank you. But, um, yeah, I mean, I. I I know, like, resources get used on this, and I, I don't know. Yeah, I... <laughs> it seems like... It seems a little ridiculous, and I... I don't know if there was any, any report on earlier when I when I called trying to avoid this, I guess. Because he's a... Uh, I don't know. I think there's some sort of conflict of interest. He, he claims he's an employee. I, I guess he technically is an employee here. And uh, he's also, I guess, dating the, the management. But he's the next-door neighbor, and he... He's still hostile and, yeah, so. Okay, well, um, thank you for your time. I'm sorry. No, I mean, it's no problem. I'm just letting you know that, you know, from, from my point of view, all I have is a call. Right, right, um, that's understandable. And, and I'm just letting you know that the deputy is telling uh, both of you that it is a civil issue. Thank you. So, um, if he, you know, is, it, is still is being hostile and isn't willing to work with you, you know, you can always give him a call back and, no, I, I really don't want that long-term, like, sourness between us. Um, I'm actually kind of passive-aggressively, maybe. Um, I'm outside having this phone conversation with you uh, within earshot of him. So if he's anywhere in the area, I think he can probably hear. <laughs> so thank you very much for, for letting me know. No okay, bye. Okay. Have a nice day.